on we go. We're on day two. We have a cyber lab five hours away, which is two guarded. This is probably our next mission. Before we go in, we'll spend some of this money on speed upgrades for both agents. That allows us to use the cloaking rig three. We now have very little money, but that's Corporate fine. Augmenta After this, we can go to this financial suite, which is also two guarded. Agents report to transport pads now. This again is a K&O mission. Let's take a peek through this door. We have a guard here. Assault guard. So he has overtuned reflexes, shoots agents immediately, skipping overwatch. That is not good for us. And he has a two turn KO instead of being killed, so you cannot kill him permanently. That is quite terrifying. Let's see where he is going. He is stationary. Okay. That's fine. As long as we don't get uh, seen by him or get heard by him. Uh, he's just looking at a, an empty wall where we don't need to go. Let's take a look through this door as well. We've got another door down here. That is a gun facing potentially nothing of importance. And let's take a look through here. There's a camera drone. So far we don't see anything particularly important to hack, so let's use the oracle. So we found our exit. We're not sure whether this door will connect round here or here. Could be either. I don't think it's a good idea to get into this room for now. I think instead we should just be hiding on melee. And we can go on to melee here. Hopefully this drone doesn't come through the door. I think it would be a bit unfortunate if it did. We could just hack it, but that would cost us three power. Let's try to avoid that. This drone is stationary. Okay. <laughs> so we've gotten lucky here. Um, that's our system admin, so he's just rebooted this camera immediately. We can steal with either agents. We both have anarchy. So we're going to pass card here, which is good. That's a demon database. So it's fine for us to get up to here. I don't think we heard anyone moving around. This should be covered from this direction. That is a camera database, which would be very good to have. But we know that there are no remaining uncaptured cameras. So this is the only one until alarm level one. Let's take a look into here. This is probably a nanofab or a shop cat. Could have a camera in the corner as well. It's a nanofab. So this is largely an empty room. This gun won't be necessary to control. Oh, it will be. Because of this hard wall here that I can't get past. It may be worth, therefore, taking the demon database. If we have demons on a lot of these things, that will matter. Let's see what we're going to do with the rest of this AP. It could get up to here. Or we could take a look in the 95 now and therefore not have to return to it. That brings the system admin towards us. Biogenic dart. Yes, please. We want to get the money to come back to get this. EMP pack 2 could be quite good as well, but we don't have the hacking upgrades for it, so that would be quite expensive to start using. Biogenic dart is much higher priority, I think. We'll also try to steal from this camera. It will take a while for this system admin to come back to us. But now let's just go on to melee here and end the turn. 
So it's, it seems quite likely that these connect up this way and not necessarily around here. We can steal the power from this drone. I think for now it would be just a good idea to hide here, but we'll see later. Let's move um, mist for now. We could have a camera in this corner. That's fine. Nothing here either. So this camera is just pointing at the camera database. That means this won't connect here. We have safes. No camera either. These are two small safes, so I don't need to bring Guff across. Guff, of course, has the advantage of um, getting into uh, the large safes. So I think we're going to just hack this one now, get into cover. We know that there's a system admin coming this way, and I don't want to be seen by him. Uh, he was here, so we'd have done one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half. Assuming this room is empty, uh, six, seven and a half. And on his next turn, he would do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He would be far enough to see us, so let's just be here for now, I guess. And we can peek. There he is. Yeah, he does get up to here. So that doesn't quite include this, but we can't really get up any further than this anyway. Let's see, yeah, so even if we take this gun now, uh, he's not going to be, uh, he, he's going to be seeing this square, so we wouldn't be able to get past him. Let's just take this one down as well, get both of these safes, and then we've finished with this side of the map. So it's fine to run here. No, it's not fine because we've got this guard here. <laughs> we don't want this guy to, to hear a sound. I guess we just have to leave Guff here for now and wait for this guy to get past. Can't think of anything better to do. Okay, he's facing diagonally, which does give me an opportunity to hack this thing. I kind of want to know what the demons are, though. I think we have to take this one, because I don't want to shoot the... sysadmin. So I'm going to do this first and then take this so that we still have the sysadmin coming this way. Mask. Fine. We're about to do this anyway. Good thing we didn't take the gun. We don't want this camera database. Not worth a validate in the slightest. We have stolen from this guy. We'll just get through this locked door then and save having to go back this way. Sis admin will take the long way round. Could have someone looking from here. I think I'm going to take the risk. Do this. Then this is going to be cover. Okay, that's our guard elevator. And let's just take a peek through this door for now. You located the cyber lab. That's our Let's cyber lab. Castle and Paradox. That's probably quite acceptable. But we'll obviously prefer to hack them when it is free. Next time we have cameras coming online. Where are those? We've got one here. Well, the cameras don't quite come online. We've got one there. Cameras will start rebooting though. So this guy hasn't reached the door. Additional cameras activated. The 
walls have eyes. Not sure who we prefer to explore with. Probably Guff. So we'll give him the pass card. And get into here and have a look in these Augment Crafters. This one, we don't know if it has a demon on. I guess the disadvantage of hacking this later is that we don't find out whether these ones have demons on. We know that this one doesn't. Could theoretically be a person here who I think would see this square, but that's fine. If I do this, I don't think the console gives me cover from the camera, so we're forced to hack the camera. This g g guy will be here, so he won't be able to get close enough to see me if we hack only the camera, so let's do it this way. And then I want him to... Yeah, so, so what I think he was about here, he will come up here, be too far away to see me, then we'll leave. And then we can send him back here later on, I think. That should be okay. Oh, he's, he's gone the, the fast way around, but yeah, he doesn't reach us, so this is fine. That's our door here, so there won't be a camera in this corner. This is fine, no other guards here. He's patrolling out, so we'll get a chance to leave next turn. I think I should hit this, but I want to do it last. So that means I want to take Castle rather than Paradox. Secondary server terminal, so there is a shop cat somewhere. That's here. We do want to get into that, but we probably won't have money to get that and the... We won't have the money to get that and the um, biogenic darts. Let's take a look at what this is. This guy won't get here in time. Anarchy to three. I don't want that. Let's just take an augment socket. We can do this safely, even though we, this guy will be coming in here, will be hacking this thing next turn. That means we lose a few devices as well, so what's just got rebooted? This one, this thing is fine, and this thing we'll need to hack again. Uh, we'll need to hack it again in order to get to this nanofab. But that can happen much later. This goes down next turn. There's no camera in this room for me to worry about. Let's just go into melee here. So I do need to get up to this wall on this turn. Now the sysadmin turns around, which we want. This guy's on a straight line patrol route, so I can get up to here or here. And peek. That's a bunch of things. We've got two consoles. We've got a safe here. Neither of these is the tall safe. And we have our shop cat. That's a paradox. Unfortunately, we can't take both paradoxes at once because we don't have the parasite. I'm not going to go on to melee. This guy has armor anyway. We can take him out, but we don't need to. Let's just end the turn there. This sysadmin will be going up here for now. 
This guy is not looking at the door. Let's move Guff first. This should be cover. I can use Mist to spy on this guard. I think he's just on a plain straight line. Yeah, that's fine. Do I take this Paradox now? Probably want to take both of these. Otherwise I'll just be waiting for this. I can get the safes on the way back. We know that we will be coming back at some point. So I can take Shop Cat first. Burst is no good. Lockpick doesn't really do anything new for us. Golem is just very similar. So we're not getting either of those. There's our big safe. No demon. So we'll get into here. Get into that safe next turn. I'm not eager to take a paradox. Or I don't need to. How much money are we likely to get from here? We've got two more safes. We've got one more guard to steal from. We have stolen from the sysadmin. We've got this big safe. I think we probably will manage to get the biogenic dart. So that's 1200. We need another 611. These will have something like 100 in... 150. This guy will have... About 80, I think. So that's 380. Then this safe could have about 300 in. I think that gets us to the biogenic darts, so that's what we're going to do. We also want to see what's in this, but that will just wait. Because we don't want to take a paradox right now. That's a sysadmin going up there. Okay, this guy actually came into the room. It's kind of fortunate that he um, didn't see me. We have stolen from him. Let's punch this. I think I want to do this so we know what he's going to be doing. I will drop the security pass card now. I don't think we'll need it anymore. To avoid being encumbered. Now I can go up to here. We know that there's a guy looking at this door, so I can't safely get through here. But this guy will go to investigate this spot. He won't see me like this. The sysadmin... I'm not sure about. Depending on how far, far the sysadmin got in, it may be impossible for us to get out of this room on the next turn. But we should be able to stay in cover. There he is. So he'll go one... Whichever way is faster. I guess that's this way. Two, five, six. Seven and a half gets him to here. That's completely fine. I don't actually need to send Mist up here. Guff will be fine. So I guess we just wait around in here. Get ready to take this and get the Nanifab.
The firewalls go up. Nothing that matters because everything is now on two firewalls and we hack either two or everything immediately. Let's just do a running trick to keep this guy in this room. Now is probably the best time to take this paradox. Unfortunately, I can't take this one at the same time, but that's fine. Two turns. Absolutely fine. So this gives me four and a half. I can get to here. That's okay. This guy's on a straight line path up to here. Sysadmin will probably get into here, but not into the same room. And it might actually just be better for me to do this now. So that I'm hiding behind this one when the sysadmin comes to investigate this safe. That's probably the right play. Okay, that's 140. This guy is on the straight line, so I can do this and be safe. I just wanted vision on those in case we want to hack them and then send the sysadmin down here. I'm not sure the sysadmin would actually come if he can't find a path. I'm sure we can find out. This guy we haven't stolen from, so I need to do that. This guy won't get through the door. Paradox still for one turn. That's 10 AP. I can use this to get the one extra power, why not? Oh, we can also sell this to get the biogenic darts if we need to. No point taking this pass card. I could distract this guy onto here and then hide here. That should be fine. That gives us a clean exit out here next turn. That's probably good. What? Five gets me one, two, three, four. That's not enough. Four and a half gets me three, two, one, zero. Either way, I can end my turn here. I should have counted before I did this, shouldn't I? In the worst case, I can ping them away. I can ping them away um, with this thing which makes a sound. Let's get him onto this square. I think he should move diagonally. This guy we also need to distract. Yeah, I didn't think this through, did I? Hopefully this guy walks diagonally, this guy moves, and then this guy moves last. Yeah, I forgot about this guy. That's not good. Well, I can't really do anything now except throw this somewhere.
Yeah, let's do this. This one here, I think. Or maybe I should wait until they've gone on to Overwatch, then I hide and then use this to ping. That must be better. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, they do move. And then this guy's gonna move last. Okay, there we go. Okay, that raises our alarm again. Because he has the panic button. Yeah, I just forgot about this guy. So I need to just distract these two with my, um... Is that going to hit both of them? I can take one of them out. This one works. Let's take this camera, which we'll need. Now could be a good time to take the Paradox as well. Let's see what this one has. Distributed processing. Not that appetizing. Could be reasonably useful, but... If the thing is, if I take another augment socket, then we're not going to find this many augments that we want to put in. Could just do it anyway. I don't like distributed processing. Probably won't take it for free on day two, especially when we have the extra 48 hours due to um, the contingency plan expansion. So let's just take another socket. Let's go on to melee here. These two should now both be interested in that sound that we just made. Hopefully they'll be looking away. I should probably have given this um, cloaking rig to Guff as well, shouldn't I? This camera gets recaptured, that's fine. This guy's looking away. This guy's looking away. Good. So I can run and get out here. But this guy's just come in, so he'll be... I've got this tall cover. But he may be just looking around that anyway. If I don't run, then I only get this far, which is not enough to protect me from this guy. I think I need to be here. Not sure if they hear me like this, if they have a one, two, three, four, five, so this is slightly outside their range. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, this guy is actually looking through the door, so I need to be on this side and get noticed. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, get noticed here, let him run past. He'll run up to there. I need to take this camera, I can't take the camera. That's why I wanted to hide this side. Hey, did you see that? Right. But I can't take the camera, that's fine. We're on melee. This guy will get zapped if he does get to the door. These two should... I'm hoping they don't actually get through the door. If they do, this becomes more difficult. One of them does. Okay, both of them did. Well, I need to take this down. 
They, they both had to come here, didn't they? Don't think I'm able to get close enough to this guard from to hear the running. I'm gonna need to come up anyway. see what these two are doing. One of them's going to be there. One of them's going to be here. Whichever order this happens in, I'm going to be taking out this card and they'll see it. This could not... This could not go well. I don't see a way for this to end well. If these two guys had been interested in over here, then it would be fine. If I could ping them away, that would be fine. Um, but this new guard decided to go this way, which makes this very difficult. Fortunately, he is very near the exit. We also don't quite have enough money for the biogenic darts, but we do have this um, accelerator chip. Which means I can't just send Mist down to get the dart, come back up and then drag him to the exit if he gets shot. I do actually need to get this accelerator chip from here down to the nanofab. Or sell this neur neural disruptor, which would not leave me in a very good situation. We've also got another guard appearing very soon. I do not see what we're able to do here. Just get in the area. He will surely see that, right? So he'll run up and go onto Overwatch immediately. Okay, he doesn't quite reach us. So I need to get up to here. We have stolen from him. I need to get up to here, disable one of their vision. Which I can do. Probably don't want to run like this. I have a seven tile. Who was that? This guy has no armor, so I can melee him. This thing is on a two-tone cooldown, so I can't melee. Is this within seven tiles, if I do this? Yeah, I can take out his vision. Which does let me out here. Let's steal from this guard, just for one credit. Fine. We've stolen from both of these. I can actually get out here. This guy's still interested in that door because he didn't he's his senses are out. So we need to be on melee here. I can't. So I need to be here. Let's swap the um neural disruptor around. This guy doesn't have armor, so I can hit him with a single Neural Disruptor. I need to be on this square so that this guy coming in, if he does come in, won't mind. Let's punch this camera. And go on to melee here. I think that's fine. For now. He is coming this way. Okay, that's his interest point. Zap. 
So this guy is out for two turns. If I open this door, I probably can't get through. We don't have enough power to do this. Let's hit this. I need to know where this guy's gonna go. Okay, that's fine. Neither side of that is blocking what I want to be doing. I think we just need to get this guy to be interested in a square like this. What was that? Let's keep the guard pinned. So he should be... Okay, he'll still be looking at the door then. That's not good. This guy's also going to wake up soon. If I do this, I can get into cover, but when he peeks, he'll see me here. I can do this and then hide here. That should be fine. What was that? Investigating. Then we'll be able to get out because he won't be looking at the door. I think that's okay. Afterwards, I can hide behind this console. I do want to get this biogenic dart, even if it means we're going to be here for alarm level 5. This getting the area. Yeah, so he sees nothing. Can get up to here or here. We do want to have the cloak with us. Let's see what this guy's gonna do. He's gonna go out there. So this spot should be safe. fine. We'll be able to get past here next turn. And then use our last AP to see what this guy's doing. He's just going to investigate his own square. Let's take this down. And I think we're okay for now. We're investigating the scene. So they locate an agent. Hopefully that is missed. Yeah. What was that? Investigating. This guy's gonna hear if I run all the way here. I can get to here without running, so that's fine. Except this guy here could open the door and go onto Overwatch immediately, so I want to be hiding here. And then this guy here could run. But I can use Cloak to get out of that. I want to keep Guff around just to spy on these guys. That's fine. That's fine. That's hits. Doesn't really matter what we hit as long as we don't take a demon. Let's take that camera. 
it's most useful of the, the things. If this guy runs up this way, we'll get a chance to see him. And we end our turn like this. Looking around. Investigating. Okay, this guy's just investigating his own square. Out. This drone is obviously alerted as well. We'll want to hack this drone, of course. Let's do that now. Chuck the accelerator chip. Get myself a biogenic dart. And see what this guy is going to do. I close the door, what's he going to do? He's going to run in and throw this grenade. That's fine. That's fine. Can't see what this guy's going to do. That's probably not fine. <laughs> I could ping him away, but I don't think... I think we want to save that. We can hit someone with this neural disruptor as well. But maybe we save that. We do have this cloak, and we have the dart. So I think we should be okay to get out of here. Most important is what this guy does. Hey. Investigating. Up here we have the assault guard who's just going to... Um, shoot on sight. So I think what we want to do here is zap and take this one grenade. <laughs> Hide here, I guess. Close the door. Let's leave a down drone here. I'm not going to take this. It's just not worth it. Let's hit that for no reason. See what this guy's gonna do. That's probably not fine. I can do this, but then I'm not pinning the guard. See what these two are doing. We can cloak to get past both of them next turn. If I run, then I not sure how far I get. For now, let's just leave it this way. This does cloak me for two turns, so that's probably long enough to get out. So let's just leave it like this. That's our assault guard, who we absolutely cannot be seen by. This guy we haven't stolen from. He's probably just got this one credit. This cloaks me for two turns, so let's do this. I could also shoot this guy with a dart before I cloak. That might be a good idea. Oh right, that raises the alarm level, doesn't it? Yeah, I shouldn't have done that, should I? Okay. 
Okay, we get a med gel. That's fine, I will become encumbered for a med gel. I think I should be hiding here. Or here. That's probably fine. We do end our turn cloaked. I can use this to distract two of these guards. On this one as well. Might be worth doing. keep them from running in here and just for extra safety let's hide here there's no one up here so that's fine I think this is okay investigating area We are still cloaked. Calling it in. We're checking things out. Just getting the area. Hey, investigating. Avoid being encumbered here. Only one of them saw this door, so that's fine. We do still have an interest point here, though. So he's coming round here. I want to be able to melee him. He's going to come and investigate this. I can't melee him. What happens if he's going diagonally like this and there is, say, cover on both of these? I'm not actually sure about that. So we've got one who's going to come up to here, the other one's going to try and run diagonally through. I can move on to this square. And be in cover. This is not going to be easy. It might be better to be on this square so that as soon as they open the door they go on overwatch. The assault guard is out, so that's fine. So if I do it this way, as soon as they open the door, they'll go on overwatch. I can move around this way, close the door. That lets me past this tile. Um, if I run, I sh might have enough AP to run around, close the door, and then get through the door. That's probably the way I've got to do it. No, I'll be cloaked still, won't I? Investigating. What was that? That's Investigating. fine. Looking around. So when I... Investigating area. When I go off cloak... He'll be on Overwatch looking here. Oh, he's not even looking there, he's just noticing it. So I can do this, zap this guard. What was that? Investigating. That's fine. Hey. Investigating. And now we get both get out. Okay. So that was a bit of a mess, but we managed. We got the biogenic dart. We have two new augment sockets. In this case, I'd say the side effects of not having augments would be far more. Which is not the ideal result from uh, from a uh, an augment from the cybernetics lab. 
um, but it's that's all right. Uh, with the two extra days of campaign time, it should work out fine.